What is up everybody, it is Life's Apprentice. We're doing a little bit of a different video today um, based on a lot of questions that I've gotten. And uh, that video or the topic we're gonna be talking about today is where in the world is Jesse Mims? And uh, as many of you know, um, you know, in the dumpster community, Jesse Mims has just kind of disappeared. It, it appears that he's completely deleted his channel um, completely rebranded his business and uh, has kind of fallen off the map. Now, Jesse, if you're watching this, um, and just for you guys out there, this video that I'm making is pure speculation. Um, I don't talk to Jesse Mims. I have nothing against the guy and uh, I respect him um, 100%. But about, I don't know, maybe a month ago or something like, uh, yeah, probably a month ago, Josh from American AF um, reached out to me and asked me, where's Jesse Mims? And I didn't really think anything of it because um, Jesse was doing like one video a week. I hadn't seen a video. It'd probably been a week or something like that. And I just figured he hadn't uh, posted a video in a while. Well, when I went to look, his channel was completely gone, um, which is kind of odd. Um, and I don't know why you would do that. I think he was um, getting up close to 30,000 subscribers or something like that. Definitely um, in the YouTube dumpster space, he was he was the biggest, uh, had the most you know followers and, and stuff like that. And uh, I know he was having some issues with um, his Google account, his Google My Business getting um, delisted from Google. And I guess, he was he was wanting to rebrand his business because he thought that um, you know other companies in his area were um, going after him or trying to you know cancel him basically um, and so he thought probably and this again purely my opinion he probably thought um, what's best for him was to get rid of the YouTube um, get rid of you know being or stop being like that public figure and teacher and uh, just concentrate on his livelihood his business because YouTube all of us youtubers especially um, dumpster guys we're not making really any money um, you can make money on YouTube but we're not we're not really making any money even with sponsor deals and uh, AdSense and stuff like that it's not even close to enough money you know to pay the bills um, so at the size and scale of our um, YouTube channels it's really more of a hobby um, yes it could turn into something bigger but uh, for most of us it, it's just a hobby it's something that we like to do we like to teach and um, yeah so as far as the Google My Business thing, getting delisted. I know it happened to him several times, and I've watched all of his videos and, and things like that, and I know when it happened, he lost all of his reviews, he lost his Google My Business, he had to go through the whole process of getting it re, uh, reinstated, and I think part of the problem and part of the reason that he got rid of YouTube is because a lot of the YouTube followers, when he was telling people about his issues with Google My Business, they were going to his uh, Google My Business when he got it reset up and leaving reviews, which is a red flag for Google 100%. When you have a whole bunch of random reviews from all over the country, um, that is definitely a no-no um, when it comes to Google My Business. And so I think that happened. He got you know taken down off of Google My Business again and uh you know the same thing kind of happened and he kept telling people don't do that don't do that and um you know people probably were continuing to do it thinking that they were helping when in reality they were they were hurting um the business the other possibility is that you know maybe um, somebody sued him for some sort of reason and he needed to take down um, his you know his business name and rebrand or something like that I know Josh had a um, from American AF he got a cease and desist uh, letter for his name um, and again this is speculation so um, you know don't quote me the other the, I, I mean honestly I can't think of a reason to to get rid of his channel um, he's taught a lot of people out there um, he's gotten a lot of people into the business 
Um, he's definitely one of the, you know, I guess OGs when it comes to this business. Um, and uh, I don't know why he would completely get rid of his channel. He could have still made other videos or more generic videos and not even really talked about um, the name of his dumpster business and uh, the, you know, the, the daily, you know, inside and outside, you know, details of the business. You have to understand that us YouTubers and, you know, I've had comments say, why in the world would you give out that type of information um, for your business to your competitors? And I know that some of my competitors watch um, my videos and I know that I'm giving out, you know, very valuable information about my business. I'm just not worried about the repercussions and I know that um, I know that I can handle um, you know competition and and things like that and that's one thing that is a little bit different about my business and Jesse's is that I pay for a lot of advertising so if my Google my business gets taken down my phone's not gonna stop and for Jesse if his Google My Business gets taken down, you know, he's gonna be losing his livelihood, um, which is, you know, obviously very important to him. He's not new at this. He's been doing it, I think he said for seven or eight years, maybe this is his eighth year in the dumpster business. So he's been doing it a long time. And these problems only arose since he started doing YouTube. So I think he kind of correlated those two together and uh, made that decision. And Jesse, I don't blame you for making that decision. You got to do uh, what's right for you and your business and uh, hope all is well. I did a little digging um, and I'm not going to get into detail here, but Jesse's still um, in the same area. Um, he's still operating a, um, a dumpster business. It's been, I don't know, probably six weeks. It took me about five minutes and I was able to... Um, you know see that he's doing all well and good and he's on the up and up he has uh rebranded and uh you know he's right back on track where he left off um hopefully maybe someday we will get to see him again and uh i hope that day is soon if not jesse you know good luck to you and uh we'll miss you well i hope we get to see jesse soon and, uh, you know, I hope he does come back, but if he doesn't, he has to do what's right for him. Um, just know, Jesse, that, uh, you know, you will be missed. And uh, there's a lot of people out there um, looking for your help and videos and, and your guidance, um, myself included. You know, I was 100% a, uh, a, a viewer of all of his videos and uh, enjoyed, um, you know, having him in the, in the YouTube dumpster rental club. I guess if you want to call it that um, but he has to do what's right for him and I guess one thing that I've learned out of all of this is and I already know this but I know a lot of other people have had issues with their um, Google my business being taken down and I know that Google my business is important it's important for my business and and most businesses but uh, don't put all your eggs in that basket um, there's lots of ways and, and, and I did a little bit of research on his market and his area um, and he has a ton of competition. I mean a ton. Um, so do we and so do a lot of people. And the way that you beat that competition, Google is very important, don't get me wrong, but the way that you beat that is paid advertisement. Um, you need to get your name out there in more places. That way if um, your Google My Business does get taken down, um, you have backup uh, as far as other means for customers to find you. And I think that's really important. Um, and make sure that you're branding your cans and branding your truck and uh, you know try some, some other advertising um, type things. I guarantee you, even in today's day and age, that you can run and operate a good dumpster business without a Google My Business at all. Um, and I say that in the sense that there's lots of other uh, avenues to get customers and you know we've been doing this dumpster companies have been doing this for a long time before Google existed customers were finding dumpster you know places before Google even existed and and they still are to a certain degree um, but uh, good luck to Jesse out there 
I don't know, you guys can speculate and maybe somebody knows something more than I do. What do you think, um, you know, why did Jesse Mims quit YouTube? Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have him back. But uh, like I said, he's got to do what's best for him. So that's it for this one. Um, don't forget, it ends very soon. If you guys want a free trial of hometowndumpsterrental.com, um, there's a link down there and you guys can get one month for free. But uh, that is ending very soon. I believe it ends uh, April here. So you guys have like another day or two and, uh, and that offer will be gone. So take that offer if you haven't already and uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. We will see y'all next time.